count one, uh, the verdict is guilty. That's murder in the first degree. Uh, Jeremy Christian was convicted on all charges on Friday, including two counts of murder. Up next is the sentencing phase where the jury will decide Christian's punishment. Now, the first sentencing hearing is tomorrow, and Christian faces a maximum sentence of life in prison without parole. And as we await his sentencing, we're taking a look back at the trial known to be one of Portland's most high profile murder cases, helping us to break it all down this morning. Someone who has been tracking this trial uh, from the very beginning, Coin Six Enterprise Report. Hannah Ray Lambert. Good morning. Good morning. So people didn't uh, necessarily see you on TV every day during the trial, but you were in the courtroom for this entire thing. Right. You could see the top of my head sometimes in the the audience shot. Right. There you go. Yeah. You you were our our inside source for every every fact, every detail mm -hmm. of this trial, and you were there when the verdict was read. I know the judge always cautions people no reactions right. to to this verdict. What was it like though in the courtroom? I mean, they followed her her rule basically until the very end it was silent as she read all 12 counts and the verdict guilty on all of them when she got to number 12 and said guilty there were audible like gasps of relief and sobs of relief in mm -hmm. the audience um demetria hester one of the victims raised her fist into the air that's when everyone kind of let loose those emotions that they'd been holding in. Yeah, I mean, because you do, you never know how it's going to go, and especially right. when the jury was starting to take a while, people wondered, you know, what was going to happen. What did you think of the big arguments that were made on both sides, you know, the prosecution and the defense? Right, well, the, the prosecution definitely had the easier job. They had all the video evidence. They had all of the witnesses that they, they could bring in, starting with the girls who were the target of the rant on the train. Those mm -hmm. were day one witnesses that they brought in. So they had a lot, a lot of, arguments that they could make regarding the facts of the case. Um, the defense had to kind of take a, a different tactic and be like, well, we know that, yes, this happened, but there are reasons for it. So they played up the self-defense arguments. They brought in a use of force expert who um, kind of evaluated what the different men on the train did and how that could have caused Jeremy Christian to perceive himself as under attack. So mm -hmm. they had to kind of justify his actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously that self-defense claim, one that the, the jury was not sold on. And, right. you know, we had so much compelling witness testimony, uh, much of it from the prosecution. Who did you think had some of the biggest impact in terms of uh, who took the stand throughout this case? I think Micah Fletcher, the surviving victim, was the one that everyone was waiting for and that everyone was expecting a lot from. And obviously he gave great testimony. Um, it was... A, several hours that he was on the stand and I think um, the people in the the gallery of the courtroom were were really compelled by him also um, Walia Muhammad and Destiny Mangum they were really emotional witnesses they I mean it's been almost three years and they're still traumatized by the events that they witnessed mm -hmm. um, and also Sean Ford was another big one that I think got a lot of support yeah. yeah, there was there was a lot of emotion on the stand. One thing that did strike me though was Jeremy Christian. We've seen him with several outbursts at cases and hearings in the past. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't see anything from him, especially as the verdict was read. Yeah, I, he did smile a couple of times, Just right? Just a little during smirk. The, yeah, the, the, during, the smirk, there yeah. were a couple small outbursts during the trial. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple times where he was like laughing at some of the things were, that were going on. But mm -hmm. I definitely expected more outbursts, having watched his previous court appearances. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. And. So so as far as the sentencing goes, are you going to be then covering that as well? I'll be in this week. They're having a sentence enhancement hearing, which is okay. basically where the jury presents facts to the judge that she can take into account for whatever sentence she'll give him. No date for the exact sentencing, though. So we'll mm. see. So even though we have all of these uh, guilty verdicts down, this trial, not over. Mm -hmm. just Not yet. over. All right. Thanks, Hannah Ray. Yeah, Thank good you. job covering it. And if you want to go back through the trial full of emotional testimony, witness video, and outbursts in court, just go to coin.com. We also have an interactive timeline of events and digital first reporting from inside the courtroom. You can also find podcasts with in-depth conversations about the trial. Yeah, Hannah Ray and our entire team has been working very hard on this one, so we appreciate Yes. all your effort over the last several weeks. Thank you. Yeah.